Hello everyone. Now let's look at a clinical case. Grandfather Kong drove his grandson to school by bike. He fell to the ground to avoid passing vehicles. His grandson got up in time. Only the skin of his right hand was abraded. But Granddad Kong could not stand up and felt severe pain in his left leg. When to zero ambulance arrived, the medical staff initially diagnosed as left leg fracture and immediately sent to the hospital after emergency treatment. Please think about the following questions. What is the structure of bone? Compared with children, why are the elderly more prone to fracture? With those questions, let's study a new chapter, cartilage and bone. Cartilage and bone are mainly composed of cartilage tissue and bone tissue or acid tissue respectively. Both cartilage tissue and bone tissue are also specialized connective tissue. Like all connective tissue, they are composed of cells, fibers, and ground substance. As skeletal tissues, they have supportive and protective functions. Additionally, bone tissue provides a vast reservoir of calcium required for most bodies' functions. In this chapter, we will learn cartilage, bone, and development of bones. Cartilage consists of cartilage tissue and perichondrial. Cartilage tissue is a specialized form of connective tissue in which the firm consistency of the Extracellular matrix allows the tissue to bear mechanical stresses without permanent distortion. Functions of cartilage are to bear mechanical stresses without permanent distortion, to support soft tissue, to be a shock absorbing and sliding area for joints and facilitate bone movements, to be essential for the development and growth of long bones, both before and after birth. Structure of cartilage tissue and the classification of cartilage tissue are the emphases. Bone is composed of acid tissue, periosteum, androsteum, and bone marrow. Acid tissue is a kind of connective tissue specialized for support and protection and consisting of cells, fibers, and a former ground substance. Due to the presence of inorganic salts in the ground substance, bone tissue is hard and rigid. As an organ, a bone is covered on both external and internal surfaces by layers of dense connective tissue termed periosteum and endosteum respectively. Internally, the bone's cavities are filled with bone marrow tissue. Blood vessels and nerve enter and leave the bone through the nutrients forming. Functions support provides attachment for tendons of skeletal muscles. Protection protects internal organs. Storage stores calcium and phosphorus. We will focus on structure of acid tissue and structure of lung bones. Mm -hmm.